so morning all from day seven I think it is towels in hand I'm on a little sunbed run this morning um, as been requested from the wife ah oh, seeing as you're up will you just go down and see if you can get any sunbeds or like just come up doesn't mean I want to be moping about but we compromised and here I am so yeah just to recap on what we said last night, plan for today, we honestly, I'm going to put these towels down now. We'll go and get some breakfast. Um, after that, we'll probably spend a bit of time for our pool. Gets the dinner time, we're well, going to have some dinner. Then it is time for the F1, which can't wait, it should be a good race, especially with uh, Max fighting his way through the field. And then after F1, probably chill for a bit, come back and then get ready to go to Harry Steakhouse. So Harry Steakhouse, if anyone's not caught up on that, it's one of the nicest steakhouses we've ever had. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, obviously we'll get plenty of footage while we're in there. But yeah, can't wait for that one. Looking forward to it. So next time I check in with you guys, we'll be at breakfast. Probably going to see a bit of Brammer's beige bites again, but who knows? It might be a little bit of a change today. Ooh, clickbait. We'll see. Catch you so, unfortunately, it were clickbait because Brammer's beige bites is back, same as yesterday. A couple of fried eggs, a couple of bits of toast, a couple of burgers and sausages. Um, she has gone for a couple of bits of toast. What the? I got one poached egg because it's the only one that's remotely soft. And then one probably five minute egg. Two. Two minute egg, a bit of potatoes. No, two five minute eggs. Oh, two five minute eggs, a bit of potatoes, coffee, and tea. So that is breakfast on day seven. So breakfast as usual were nice. Um, Mrs. went back and had some pancakes with a bit of Nutella, I think it were. Uh, said she enjoyed that. So all in all, we're full up for now. It is about 10 o'clock. Just steadying back up to the we've just been in room and that. Chilled in aircon for five, got creamed up, got the pool bag sorted. Um, I've been having a look online and there's this thing that, I mean, I can do through YouTube and Instagram and um, Mrs. can do for her Instagram account as well. And it's basically a, um, it's like an affiliate thing where we can, put links to stuff that we use to go on holiday, i.e. Kindle or, you know, travel wallets, things like that. Um, and we, I'm not gonna lie, we make a little bit off it through promoting it, but you also get a discount. It's a bit like a, um, like a Gusto or a Hello to Fresh box, if anyone's ever heard of them. We obviously make something off it, but so you get it cheaper as well. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, just uh, let me know in comments because it's it's easy doable, it's free for us to use. It might help you guys out and obviously it helps us out. I mean, any any money that we, we make on things like that all goes into us holidays anyway. So yeah, just let me know in comments down below. But we're heading to pool now, so gonna be chilling for a few hours. Next time you see me, it'll either be at dinner time or we're ready for the F1. Where I'm just go? having a wander over to the sports bar now. F1 time. Couldn't have come at a better time to be honest because it's absolutely red hot. But we'll see how rammed it is in here. Got five minutes before lights out, so. so as you can see in the background, we're just in the sports bar, F1 on there. And F1 on there with all seats are. Uh, few on beaches. So as you can see, sports bar were absolutely rammed because at the same time as F1, Man United game were on. And Man United lost 1-0, I think, to West Ham, so that's always good. Some American football, there's baseball, there's NASCAR, so you've got it all in sports bar. So I definitely recommend sports bar if you're into it. Obviously, unlimited drinks as per usual, and it's aircon, so it's a real must. And the snaps, yeah. I had some nuggets, you had some pizza, they've got brownies, sorry, muffins uh, and all sorts, so yeah, good time at sports bar, um, just watched a bit of F1, now back to pool, happy days. So we are just back 
Yeah, well, we're at a hotel. <laughs> we, um, we're on our way to his meal tonight. Going to Harry's Steakhouse, one we've been looking forward to going to. So we've had this books for a couple of months. Not sure how busy it's going to be, but it is a Sunday night on a bank holiday weekend. I don't know if it's bank holiday in well, um, bank Mexico. Bank I'm on about in Mexico. I don't think they're celebrating Charles. Do you know, she gets involved in the vlogs all the time. I wish she'd just fuck off. So, yeah, we're on our way to uh, Ari's now. Can't wait for food. Gonna have a couple of nice steaks. Um, nice starter. So on and so on. So, it's about, well, it's seven o'clock our time now. Um, table's booked for half seven, so we'll get a taxi down there. Taxi there and back should cost us 7.50 each way, which is not too bad. 7.50. Yeah. And then um, come back and see what shit entertainment the hotel's got on. But really looking forward to a meal. This is one that if you've been skipping through videos and stuff, because it's boring and it's just a beach holiday, this is one you'll want to watch because food is really, really nice. It's up there with any steakhouse in Vegas. I mean, we've only been to Vegas once, but with that in one of, well, two of the best steakhouses in Vegas, and this is as good as. So looking forward to this one. So we will get some footage of downtown Fifth Avenue. Okay. So just got out of the taxi on Fifth Avenue. It's dropped us off right opposite Bon Vino Steakhouse. And when I can get back enough, we're outside. Let me get back to get this in. Coco Bongos. Let's go and get some food. Coco Bongo show. Right, so we're heading down here. This is where we're gonna get us food. It's like a new little plaza, it's on your left. Obviously you can see it, that big red sign, that's H&M. Um, on a night time, once you come out, the boot you are, it's one of these doors, that one, that one, or that one. And it's just absolute bedlam on here, because we've been before. Um, it were really good. Glad we did it. If you've never done it, do it. But if you've done it, I would advise probably, well, each to their own, but I wouldn't do it again. Because it's just so expensive. I think it costs us like 110 quid each. Don't get me wrong, drinks are all inclusive all night, but that's that's a it's a lot, lot of money because it's only like two to three hours long. But this is your main square, so you've got Prefiro's here, which is supposed to be a nice steakhouse. You've got Ilios, which that's supposed to be a real, real nice Greek restaurant. Um, it's really upmarket in there. Quite, I mean, I said quite expensive. It's very expensive. It's probably as expensive as where we're going tonight. Um, and then you head up escalators. I'll show you more when we get up here. But that, that Ilios, it's um, it's supposed to be. Um, you're talking a good 200 quid meal. Like we've come out tonight, we've got 250 quid out with us. I don't think it'll be any more than that. Um, Cause steaks, I mean, some of the steaks here, you can pay up to a thousand pounds. Like that's how expensive it can be. Obviously we're not gonna go for that. We'll probably have a couple of steaks, about 50, 60 quid, which is fairly standard. But um, yeah, it's a little shopping mall. Obviously at night, everything looks better. She's just having a wingless tuck. It's all air conned, it's all, um, it's all air conned. There's a Steve Madden shop down there. You've got Starbucks, like you've got everywhere. Uh, I'm just checking you through as I'm walking into it and there it is, look, Harry's. So I'll get some footage when we get inside because I need to get my booking up. So I'm looking forward to this. Requested an outside seat. I mean, it's a bit ox, there's no air con, but we've got a, an amazing view. This is view inside it, it's really, really nice in here. It's nice and up there, yeah. Can't wait to show you. So, they've already, they're so attentive, so there's a little stand on end to put your bag on. Um, they've just made a Leo's drink in front of her, like literally all the fresh ingredients. They come over, they pour you a glass of water if you want water, like we've asked for and they give you a selection tray to pick your uh, fruit from. So I've gone for orange and she's gone for lemon. 
So the rear mirror tenders is here, and he's just put in drink out. Here a choice beer. is a behemoth. He's just poured it for me. I'll get that for Ed on a beer. Perfect. So apparently this is him. It's a Bohemia Visor, the Visor one. So that is a medium beer. And elia has gone through. What did you get? Malibu Sprite and Grenadine. Malibu Sprite and Grenadine. Probably about 30 quid here, but any day is where it is, it? Look at that. So my guys come out with some bread. So we've got some freshly baked bread. Literally, freshly is bread art. And then you've got um, three sauces, some honey butter. The one at the end is the least spicy, and then you've got chipotle at the end, which is really spicy. It come out with a caviar wheel. It's about eight dollars a gram, which is not too badly priced. But you know, if you if you were to have a bit of everything they've got here, you could easily rack up five, six, seven hundred quid. It's it's very very posh in here. But you know, if you if you're strict to what you're ordering, you come in for a couple of steaks and a couple of starters, two hundred quid. Also, you're laughing. So that's what we're doing tonight. Looking forward to it. So look who we've got. The mask and Beetlejuice. Troy, you're talking to me. That's me mask impression. I'm getting a free snap while they're having to pay down there. Gutted. They'll be in Coco Bongo's later on. Okay, now they must be strong to pick him up. Look at Billy on him. Go on, Bobby. I'm on a serious note. Let me, uh, let me just zoom out. Uh, for starters, we've got some crisp action, whatever that is. What have you got? Tuna tartar. Tuna tartar. And I've got some squid rings. It looks amazing. I'll attach some prices, so I'll just show you a bill at end, but let's tuck in. I need to mention his portion sizes. I mean, I don't think you can imagine how many is there, but there's loads there. That would feed two people. Portion sizes for such a classy restaurant are really, really good. So let's dig into it. Uh, the verdict on starters were my squid rings were amazing, but the portion size is ridiculous. I only ate half of them, but they were so, so good. What were your uh, reaction to your tuna? My butter. Yeah, she said it were really nice. So starters went down a treat. So looking forward to a nice steak from here now. He is just slicing the steak for us. Got a side of chips, side of Caesar salad. They've got the torches on because the little lamp's not working, but it's just slicing his uh, little porter house for us, so I can't wait for this. Yum yum. Get him, man. And here is the holy grail, the steak. This is as good as anywhere you can get. Vegas, London, anywhere we've ever been. So, look at this. So one thing I will say is, we've eaten all the steak, there's half a salad left, and half a bowl of chips, and that's fed to us. Portion size there are phenomenal, I mean, it's a high classy restaurant, it's a high price, but generally when you go to our restaurants you don't get a lot of your money, whereas here, it's just unbelievable. So we are absolutely stuffed. Um, we've had such a great meal though, haven't we? been amazing yet again so I mean I don't think we'll come back again this trip but you never know so we uh, yeah we're all, uh, all done here we'll get you another video so one thing to make note of is we've just been speaking to a little waiter here and um, they are going to be changing the menu here so they're still going to be doing steaks um, they're still going to be doing everything that they do but they're just going to switch up the appetizers so I mean we've been coming here for what three years now uh, and it's the first time in three years that they're going to be switching up the menu. So anyone coming to Harry's or coming to Play Doh Carmen, in fact, um, you've got to, got to come here. Honestly, it's but yeah, look at this. Some people just got busted down here from Indonesia and got fined. Great people watching the spot. You can book it via open table. So if you book it via open table, you can put a request in there for a, a balcony. Um, and the, the service you get is absolutely beautiful, so yeah, must recommend to come to our ears. So now they've come.
come out with a complimentary uh, candy floss for us. I mean, it's melting since it's red as, but look at that. They can't do enough for you here, honestly. It's just, it's just amazing. I mean, it's as good as any food place we've ever had before, but I would say the service tops anything that we've ever had. I and mean, we've had a blue ribbon, we've had a prime everywhere, so. I think that's made we're better than prime. Yeah, I do as well. The steak here is probably better than prime. Blue ribbon's banging, but yeah, it's good. Here. So this is the bill guys and then including like a 25 quid tip is that. So that is a, I think it's a 15% service charge. So it's about 30 quid, so. Not too bad, so all in all about 240 quid I think. So not too bad. So we've just come out of Harry's Steakhouse. Absolutely amazing, honestly. One of the best meals I've ever had, yet again. Um, it went to about 210 pound. Um, just phenomenal, food's amazing, ambience is amazing. The waiters, honestly, you know when you go to Las Vegas and you think that the service is unbelievable, especially from the UK, you know, this place is just, it's different, like, it's so much better than anything that you get in Las Vegas. I mean, I know we've only been once, but still, you know. Yeah, literally, like I said, like I showed you earlier on, you even get to pick what slice you want in your drink. It's just. Um, I feel like if I asked them, they'd have fed me. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it, it's just phenomenal. I said to earlier, I'm, I mean, we have eaten a lot of steakhouses, aren't we? We're not shy when we when it comes to a, a meal or two, and we're not shy on going to a nice restaurant either. Like, if anything, that's probably where all, all our money goes on holidays. Um, like Vegas. Yeah, we put some money through slot machines, but it all went in prime, it all went in blue ribbon, and, you know, all went in the restaurants, um, you know, London will eat at a Ramsey restaurant or so on and so on, but this, I will go out on a limb and say, this Harry's, and it's not just because I'm in, in, in here now, but this Harry's is the best steakhouse I've ever had, so I can't recommend enough Harry's Steakhouse. So please, 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 if you're in Plano Carmen, give it a try. So we're going to go and find a taxi and uh, head back towards the hotel. But before we do, look at Mr. Mask. Go on, sunshine. So, yeah, catch you all in a bit. So we're just walking down Fifth Avenue at night, and this is what it's like. It's loud, it's carnage, it's in your face. Yeah, don't bring drugs or e-cigs because you will get fined and you will get money took off you by the police. So, don't follow that sign up there. Don't do it, kids. Do not do drugs. So, yeah, just having a walk down now. So, we're just back at a hotel. Just dropped us goodies off that we picked up from the shop. I bought a rubber ring for some mates that we've, we've met. And a ball for myself because um, seven days in without a ball is uh, killing me for the pool. So we're just having a wander back up to see what entertainment's on. And then I think there's a nightclub opening tonight, which is not like us to be honest with you. But we've been here three times. We're probably never going to come back to this hotel. And it's only open on certain days. So we're going to see what it's like. May go in there, have five minutes and come out. May stay in there till two in the morning. Who knows? So we, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what that's like. Any decent footage, and I will let you know. So catch you. So we've just been to Pasha, Pasha. Which, which is his nightclub. It's uh, <laughs> oh god, it's all uh, Joanna's fault. <laughs> Joanna. She's Joanna, it's Prince all her fault. Bloggers, bloggers, <laughs> Joanna. Oh. Bloggers. I do um I do apologise in advance for any antics from these southerners. <laughs> We're from southern. I'm not southern. She's from southern. Southerners. Southerners. Oh, southerners. <laughs> but um yeah, so it's open till two o'clock if you fancy it. We've left two it. Um... <laughs> so like we've got a... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've got a parrot. Yeah, <laughs> Stop it till two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. 
Right, so anyway, we've called it a night now, so... It's finished. It was a good time, though, weren't it? We're this way. We're this way. It was a good time, though. We're fucking 10 minutes that way. Are you actually So we'll catch you in the morning. Catch you in a bit. Anyway, before we were rudely interrupted by our southern friends, we've just been to Pasha, which is like an on-site nightclub. Fucking banging, mate. It's decent. It's 2 in the morning now. Um, to be fair, we've not stopped drinking all day. I've been drinking since 10 o'clock. <laughs> Fuck off. So, yeah, um, it's only, how, how many days is it open? I don't know. It's only open like two days a week, I think. So, um, definitely try it when you are. We've tried it first time in three times and it was really, really good. I'm red hot though. So, so I'll be up at eight o'clock to get us some beds. So yeah, been a really good night. We've had a lovely meal, um, had a good night with his friends, um, finished it off in a nightclub. So yeah, really enjoyed it and I will catch you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. As you can probably tell by my voice, still got cold, but it's the morning after the night before. So uh, had a really good night last night with some mates. Um, Nothing at all one today, literally. So I'm gonna get well I'm just about to put some pools towels around the pool even. Um get some breakfast when I get back to room. Got to go and wake her up because she's she's very poor this morning. One too many drinks I think. But yeah, she was taking a piss at me. How karma works, eh? Um but yeah. Gonna put these down around pool, go back and get some breakfast, and probably have a chill there today. So, whatever footage I get, I'll, uh, I'll let you know, but I'll explain more in the next little section. So, just some more information on pool front it seems like 7 30 am is the slot because I got down there. I'm not sure if it's because a lot of people have gone home yesterday or just because it's good timing, but every single bed round pool we're pretty much up for grabs so uh, we've got a nice day of uh, sun and shade coming up so happy days on that one so just in the back to the room now gonna work her up and we'll, we'll get some breakfast so we'll catch her when we've had some food looks like we are one down for breakfast this morning because it's just me who's coming because Alia uh, is not feeling up to it so Grammar's boring, bland, whatever it was. Because we're going to get a bit of action this morning. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to have, but I'll tell you one thing, I'm absolutely starving. One thing to note if you are coming here is I would probably go out to a 7 Eleven or something like that and uh, buy some bottled water. Because they do, they do have bottled water. Like I say, it's an all inclusive. There's, there's nothing like the minibar that's stocked is. Is free spirits, free water, free. You can have as much as you want. Ask for as much as you want. But the water tastes weird. Like unless you have it ice cold, it tastes really, really weird. But when you keep having ice cold water, <coughs> it um it really like fucks your throat. Um, if you like, I said earlier on in the video. I mean, I probably were a bit croaky in that first video. To be fair, but. Um, I'm still suffering from cold a week on, which I find it so bizarre that I've got cold or flu in one of the places on planet, but so be it. So yeah, off to get some breakfast now. I'll uh, see if it's all that takes me fancy, but I am absolutely starving. And as you live thought from last night, we were all a bit drunk. Um, Pasha, which is the on-site nightclub. It's not bad. It's um, it's decent. It plays a lot of like corny old school songs, but it's all about company. But you were obviously we earlier had a good time and we met a couple and they seemed really nice. So yeah, it turned it into a good night and end. Mm -hmm. So just have to get some breakfast now and we'll see. What's so we've gone for the usual minus the sausage this morning because sausage don't look particularly appetising. Uh, table to myself. Plenty of room, mind you. We are Fanta and a tea. So I'm going to get this down because I am starving. So as you saw, um, I had two lots of toast, two fried eggs for breakfast, 
cut all the white stuff off as usual. Turn them into a sandwich. Didn't bother with sausage because it looked a bit dog shit today, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, just head into the pool now. Aaliyah's still in the room because she feels like shit. Um, so I'm solo at the pool today. Well, at least for the morning anyway. She's gonna try and join me in a bit. So she's gonna enjoy some catching up. I think I might chuck iPad on, um, watch some highlights from football. Get get a few bets on. Bet 365's working beautifully abroad. So yeah, looking forward to another good day around pool. I'll get some more footage with the one. So on Brammer's Beige Bites tonight, we've got a bit of wing action. No, actually that's a load of shit, the thighs. Some slight southern fried chicken, some chips. And sick notes gone Brammer's Beige Bites. And a bit of chip fries and mash. Even more beige than me. Unbelievable, Jeff. So we'll get tucked into these. So we've just eaten. Uh, the breaded chicken were actually really quite nice. Um, so I had that with some chips. And I didn't have rice actually tonight. I don't think there were any rice. But we're just heading over to see what shows on tonight. Um, if it's any good, I'll get you some footage. But I think at the minute it's kids club, so we uh, yeah, we'll see what we get. So we're just heading back to the room. Uh, we watched a little bit of Mexican show, and it were oh my god, every night. We watched a bit of Mexican show. Uh, it was rubbish, just as we thought. <coughs> it was still a mariachi band. So I mean, each to their own. Any Mexicans watching, fair play, it's your thing, but it's not it's not our thing, is it? No. So we met up we um Craig and Joanna again. We went into the sports bar, played a bit of cards, had a few drinks. Well she didn't have a drink. Tea total. Tea total now till tomorrow. Hmm. Um so I've not been six since four o'clock though, so Yeah. I mean what time we on now? Midnight nearly, so and we're doing all right. good eight hours or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so heading back to the room now. Um, apologies in advance, there's not been much footage today, but we really hadn't done anything. We had such a late night last and night. And she's been polar. <laughs> but plan for tomorrow. I'm not gonna think of that way. So I plan for tomorrow. I'm gonna get it up, uh, have some breakfast. We're gonna switch it up and go to activity pool. Um, got a ball now, so excited for that. Then we'll probably have a wander up to Ryu Player Car. Probably have a couple of drinks up there. I'm going to book Explore. Yeah, we'll book Explore. Um, well, that's a spoiler. Explore. That's the extra excursion we're doing. So we'll book that tomorrow. Um, head up to Ryu Player Car with his mates. Have a couple of drinks oh, up there. Thanks. Head down to Yucatan. Have some dinner on beach. And then, and then we'll um, come back in and chill around pool for a bit. And then two o'clock, as I said, it is Man City versus Real Madrid. Be a big game. And then tomorrow night is Greece. And if the uh, alcoholic in the corner is feeling up to it, <laughs> might go back to Pasha. So she'll be having Cokes in Pasha. So yeah, looking forward to tomorrow, it should be a good day. So we'll catch you in a bit.